Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 27th to the 2nd of August. So we're going into a new month by the end of the week and the energy has already changed from calm and loving, passionate and nurturing to action, action, passion, passion <laughs> and creativity. That is what the fire signs stand for, and we're in Leo now. So you might be more active, more passionate, and more creative, and going for what you want. Perhaps you might be taking a page out of the fire signs book. Right. Uh, it's lovely to see you back again, my cyber angels, and I hope you are enjoying your summer and be careful and stay safe my darlings because there are second lockdowns here in Europe okay now I'm using the Shadowlands and I'm using the Enchanted um, uh, uh, Lenamon and I'm using the Angel Reading Cards and Archangel Metatron and welcome to new people that have just landed on my channel I uh, hope you will enjoy the readings the romance readings are out now as well if you're interested in that and I've also got for each day in the week the um, a separate reading so if you want to load it down or come back every day and see what card you have and for a message besides your zodiac sign there is also the weekly dailies <laughs> and anyway please subscribe you're welcome to come to the channel and if you would like to join us in the live sessions um, and become a cyber angel then do so on Monday Wednesday and Friday or Friday um, I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a donation okay and uh, also please subscribe and hit the bell on all um, um, then you will be notified by YouTube but just in case you don't for some reason or rather then uh, you can follow me on Instagram as well and on Facebook and I set out notifications there as well what time I'm going live on the day usually I go live at about quarter past eight in the evening in European time or half past eight so there you are if you can suss that out it's about six seven hours difference from New York and Ontario so um, it will be around one o'clock I think your time if you are from there so please work it out okay and would love to meet you and if you would like to have an extensive reading then all the information is below the video in the description box there's also a new reading a crystal ball reading on the website go and have a look at that and there's also a new private page if you like to enjoy coming in to joining in in the live sessions um, <coughs> on the Charlie's Angel crowd page and I will be doing workshops and meditations and healings okay I just like to interact more closely with you and get to know each other there's only 50 people uh, at one time uh, there's only room for 50 viewers at one time when I go live so have a look and scout around um, I'm going to start with the Querent or Overall Energy card Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the Clarification cards can be used vice versa I can use this card to clarify the three or the three to clarify this one Let's get started and your first card is the Ace of Cups so there could be new passion okay, a new hobby new uh, love okay this is the general reading the love readings I do separately so this is the energy for the coming week there could be a new beginning in something that you love to do or that you're passionate about a new hobby 
uh, also a, n a new vocation, a new career, perhaps in care, in the health service, um, something like that, because they stand for nurturing and caring, passion and love. Then on Monday you've got the Two of Cups. You are definitely in balance. You might meet your soulmate if you're not hooked up. Or perhaps you might be realizing that you are hooked up with your soulmate, but you're definitely emotionally in balance. You have a lot of water, a lot of cups in your reading. So it could be also that you are very sensitive to people's feelings, not only your own. But you seem to have everything in under control as we have the two and that means balance and also because we have the King of Cups and this is Cancer and this man knows how to keep his emotions in check. That's why he's got the status of the King. But don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces. You might be meeting one because it's lying next to the Ace of Cups. Whoopee! Love it, love it! It's really beautiful energy. Then on Friday, you have the Three of Swords, and I don't, I'm not scared. This deck has not made me apprehensive about the Three of Swords. I don't like the Three of Swords because uh, it means loss. Loss of a loved one, like a relationship, or like uh, somebody's gone over to the other realm, um, because he's also depicted quite black, with a black coat and with black glasses or sunglasses. He's hiding behind those glasses. And um, I love this this deck. It's it's softer. It is uh, more empathic than the standard standard heart pierced by three swords. And and it gives you a broader perspective and understanding of the card. Three is creativeness, but and you're moving on from two to three, so you are being creative. So take those sunglasses off and show your emotions, so show your sorrow, Taurus, that you've lost something. But there are people around you, look at them, um, that can help you, that love to take care of you and nurture you and, and talk and let you, let you, let your feelings be shown, okay? Don't hide your feelings. Um, it does, if you have lost somebody, it is never nice, but this can also be a loss of a job, a loss of a house, uh, a loss of something, okay? So don't hide your anger or your sadness. Ask for help. There are people around you to support you. Now, it could be a job, it could be love, like I said, because this could be a new beginning in something that you love to do, like caring, nurturing, a job, or a partner. So, and I'm reading for thousands of people, so take from this reading what you can and look at your moon sign and your rising sign to get a, an overall picture, a better picture, more information. So, show your heart like it is here, but take the those glasses off okay so people can see your eyes because your eyes are the windows to your soul let people f feel you see you understand you and you should open up your heart and your solar plex and your mind to new beginnings you are lying underneath it it's there you only have to open up and receive there could be somebody coming back from the past and giving you a gift. So all is not lost. If you have lost your job or you've lost your, your partner in a divorce, there could be somebody coming back from the past. There could be a reconciliation. But show that you care and that it has touched you deeply because you've got the Six of Cups, that means 
come and you are thinking about the past, the good memories. Okay, don't only think about the good memories, but also th think about the, uh, the, the situation that has brought you to this loss and learn from it. Okay? Don't let it hurt you. You have to get over it. Time will heal, especially if you ask others to talk with you, to support you, to love you. Don't shy away from people, from gatherings. Go and join people. Go out there and make new friends. That's the way to be. Okay, the first card, we have the crossroads. You have choices to make. Which path are you going to take? Which choice or decision? If somebody is coming back from the past, are you going to take them back? Perhaps that is the decision. You also have the Queen of Pentacles. This is the Queen of Pentacles. She is Mother Earth, like the Empress, and the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo, so there could be to do with a Virgo. A Virgo could be coming back from the past, Taurus. It doesn't have to be a woman, it can be a man, obviously, but it's a man with an, a, a, a nurturing side, and your reading is all about nurturing love and passion and caring. This lady, she's got green fingers, she sows seeds or invests and she waits until they sprout and then she starts nurturing them and letting them grow, coming to blossom and harvest. So if you have invested in something, literally and figuratively, wait until, nurture it and make it grow and let it blossom. And also, she um, she stands, of course, she un, uh, she stands for fertility. So, if you open up your heart, your mind, and your solar plex, and be open to receive new love, new friendships, then the ground is now is fertile for you to do so. So you could be making decisions if somebody's coming back from the past, whether you want to make a new start with them. Perhaps somebody, an old friend could come back from the past and you haven't seen them. And uh, there might be a, a new friendship here or a relationship. And you feel totally in balance again, like it was in the past. Then we have the bear. The bear is the ten of um, clover, so that's the ten of wands. There is an ending uh, to um, a heavy period. You've been carrying a heavy load, most probably. And there is a new beginning to a better phase. The bear means you can stand your ground, you're strong, you defend everything that you are passionate uh, about and that you love, like your family, your friends, uh, perhaps your job or your hobbies. Um, and there could be somebody that is jealous of you, okay? That is also the meaning of this card, but luck is on your side, definitely because you, that is what it means as well, but you can stand your ground. Somebody could be jealous of your strength and your determination. You've got number 15, so 1 in 5 is 6, so you're coming back in balance. 6-6, six, six, okay? So you are, that is your angel number for the week. And 22 becomes a 4. So that is proper foundations. So anything new now will be built on proper foundations. You've got two angel numbers, 6-6 six, six and 2-2. Two, two. 
the angels are showing you that they are here for you so open your heart don't worry about people that are jealous of you and perhaps you thought they were real friends and you lost this friendship it's better that way because you know friends should not be jealous of each other they should help each other jealousy is um, not a very nice thing I think it is also sickness because jealousy has also got other symptoms than just being jealous some people that are jealous and are in a relationship can be very demanding and controlling and you feel tied up and I'm seeing chains here so you might have felt tied up Wow this is mind-blowing so perhaps they have seeked help and they're coming back to say sorry they love you dearly and they passionate about you they find you loving nurturing and caring and they want to return that to you so if you would like to recon reconcile or start again with this person be careful a fox sheds its fur but not its tricks it can only learn new tricks but the old will still be there the old habits you don't want to lose again and then Taurus you've got the snake so this is also a warning twice jealousy the snake there is a but there is a but the snake in the grass if you're signing contracts be careful read small print remember there is a but the fox can learn new tricks but the old tricks still will will still be there you are warned so you have to make the decisions okay there you go two decisions the road decisions and you've got two 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 three th twos wow that is a significant number I suggest you have a look on Google what 222 two, two is and you've got the Queen of Cl um, Clover that is the Queen of Wands and that's a Leo so it could be a Leo <coughs> excuse me so it could be a water sign it could be a Cancer that's predominant um, it can be the Queen of Pentacles and that is Virgo and then you've got the Queen of Clover and that is Leo and you've got number seven luck is on your side these two cards are lucky cards okay whatever you decide nothing is wrong but you have to face the consequences um, when something happens and with your decisions okay so it could be a, a cancer that could be the snake in the grass okay or it could be a contract a job but read the small print that is uh, they could be offering you a job right in care in the health care remember the health care is not only a nurse a doctor or a rheologist radiologist um, or it could be anything it could even be a secretarial job and you don't stop to think about care but you're actually working in a firm that so, so, um, um, office care okay now talking about contracts you have the letter here so you are going to receive news and this is the seven of swords now the seven of swords there's somebody in the ta in traditional tarot is somebody that's sneaking away with five swords so again alarm bells are ringing be warned somebody might be hiding something okay you don't want sadness somebody might be sneaky and you'll be getting news about 
a job or a contract or a love letter it could be also official news that you've got the job or it could be the contract you've got the official seal there wow so definitely sneaky could could be the king of, of cups right remember we are made out of different uh, zodiac signs we are sun sh sunshine cancer it could be a, a moon somebody moon arising or a moon or rising cancer or moon cancer it could be let's have a look we have the pentacles here the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands there so it could be a queen a Leo or a, 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 a Virgo with a rising or a moon cancer okay gets more complicated if I carry on but I can carry on until the cows come home and the readings sometimes take a, a life of their own like this one has okay so be forewarned watch out for the red flags and the red flags don't have to be negative they can also be positive like love you are surrounded by love and passion remember passion doesn't last only love does true love and honesty so open your heart but protect yourself you've got number 27 here so something is coming to an end perhaps this is news of an ending of something could be um, that you uh, ha had a relationship or a friendship with somebody before they stabbed you in the back and they went to somebody else uh, hypothetical as I'm reading for thousands of people but that's coming to an end or that has come to an end okay remember they could have played the same trick on the other person they were with because a fox doesn't change his tricks like I said so be careful of sly people untrustworthy people and you have the angel of strength you are stronger than you think and you've got a number four here and so you are at the time is fertile now to do what you want and to go for what you want because we are in the energy of going for what you want the action okay and that is what the Queen of Wands does okay it could it, the Queen of Wands is Leo but don't exclude um, Aries or Sagittarius either know that you are strong you are being given a hand from the angels they've got you the six six and the two 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 okay they are giving you signs so ask them for help and ask otherwise ask a person for help there's plenty of people around you okay beautiful card then we have the number 24 again a six orange and orange is the um, secretal uh, chakra color and that is um, just by uh, just underneath the belly button and that is where the womb is so the, again it's showing you birth fertility is something new going to be coming along action connection and attunement yes stay in balance attune within your own self your higher eye and connect with your emotions and your intuition wow absolutely beautiful I hope you've liked this reading Taurus and take it um, as advice and think about it go and sit somewhere quietly and contemplate if you feel sad or out of balance to get back in balance the new beginning is here heat the red flags take care and I would love to see you in the life and please hit the subscribe button and the like button and the bell then you'll be notified take care stay safe 
and be blessed. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.